Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about using the library catalog. Uh, you guys are going to use actually the iPad search stations over on the wall, or you can use like your iPads, but it'd probably be easier to use the ones against the wall to start out with. But obviously I'm not on an iPad, I'm on my computer because I can't make these recordings from the iPad. So when you open up the iPad to the search station, you are going to see a page that looks like this. This is actually the home screen for Lawrence Public School Libraries. So you can actually see all of the libraries here. We've got elementary schools, middle schools, the high schools, district office, uh, other collections. The only one you need to worry about is our school, Sunflower Elementary. So you, you are going to, uh, obviously you're going to touch that, but I am on a computer, so I'm going to click it. And it's going to open up this page. This is the home page for our school. There's a lot of resources right here, which we're not going to talk about right now. We are going to talk about them, just not right this second. What we're going to practice doing is using the library catalog. So up here in the top, you have two tabs. You have home, which is where we're at, and you have catalog. So you need to touch catalog. And then here we have where you can search the catalog. So this is the search bar. You can search by keyword title, author, subject, or series. It's a lot easier to usually search by keyword unless you were looking for a specific title. So let's say I wanted to look up any books we had about pizza. So I'm gonna type pizza in there, press enter. And here we have any books that mention pizza. So we've got books about fractions. We've got, um, how to make pizza, we've got Pizza the Size of the Sun poems, and let's say I wanted Dragon Pizzeria. Well, we have a problem here. It says zero out of one available. That means that it is checked out, so it won't be on the shelf, and it won't be available for you to check it out. But if I wanted a book that was available that had something to do with pizza, I could look here, and let's say Pizza Pizza looks pretty cool. I'm going to click on that one. And it brings up this page, and here it highlights every time it sees the word pizza to let you know that, hey, we found what you were searching for. So the information you need now is right here. You need the call number, you need the author's name, and you need the title. Now, if you remember, the call number is like the address of where the book lives on the shelf. So this book is, it starts with an E. So it's going to be in the everyone section and STE. So you're going to go to the shelf labeled E. I think we actually do have a shelf labeled E, STE. And then you're going to look until you see Pizza Pizza by William Steig. So that is how you would use that. But let's say I am looking for books about dinosaurs. Oh, it's actually right here. Okay. Click enter. Now, when you search, the first ones that come up are always going to be the nonfiction books. So, actually, we don't even have to click on it because all the information we need is right here. So, here's the call number. I can write that down. I can write down the author. And then I can write down the title and go look for it. But this one has, we got a lot of books about dinosaurs. So, it starts out on nonfiction and only shows 25 titles per page. So if I wanted to go to the next page, I could press two and it'll take me to the next page, or I could press this. It says show all. And it might take a hot minute because there's a lot of books, but this one didn't take very long. Then we have 131 books about dinosaurs and that contain the word dinosaurs somewhere in either the, the title or the description. So I can go through and find the one that I want. Now, if it has this here, this little book picture, that means it's a book. You can get it off of the shelf in the library. Some of these have different pictures, like this one, Pebble Go Animals, the computer. I'll show you how to use that, just not today. And then others of these have little E's on them that tell you it's an ebook. There's one. So this is an ebook, and there's a special way to access these, which I will also show you later but just to review so if we go back up to the top you click on sunflower elementary there's two tabs here 
you're at home, you're going to click on catalog and then you can search from there and we will uh, practice using the catalog and we will practice using some of the other resources in the library later.